Breaking news, it has started. President Buhari told to suspend 2023 election in store interim government. My dear, this is, this is the whole plan. This is the whole plan, you know, being planned out and you can see it. They tried the insecurity. Buhari has intensified his voice to see if they will call, you know, and many more things. And guess what? In a bid not to leave power, they are already suggesting and putting out the word there, suspend the 2023 election. Now, listen, suspension of the election is not the problem. Your resignation is the main problem. Resign so a more competent person could come into the arm of affair. Yeah? After your resignation, then be honest enough. Okay? Leave the stage quietly. Leave the stage quietly and let Nigeria begin to build. What they intend to do, they, they've tried every way, but God has not allowed them. They want to try another resort on how to get, you know, Nigeria perpetually tied into their cocoon. Please do not forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's understand what is going on. God bless you. President Buhari told to suspend 2023 elections, install interim government. Nigerian's President Mohamed Buhari has been advised to suspend the 2023 general election and install a six months interim government. Speaking during a news conference in Ado Ikiti on Monday, legal luminary Afer Babalola suggested that the interim government should be in office for six months to chart a new course for Nigeria and make sure this country is well positioned, ready for an election. As it stands today, the country is not ready for an election. The constitution is fraud. Returning back to region is the best way to get this country back on course. He stressed that the 2023 election should be suspended until Nigeria has a new look. People's constitution, which should provide for part-time legislators and non-executive presidents. Babalola said that members of the interim government should be drawn from all living former president and vice presidents, some selected ministers and governors and delegates of prominent professional association. The professional association could be Nigerian Media Association, Nigerian Bar Association, Nigerian Labor Congress, Nigeria Union of Journalists, Academic Staff Union or University, Civil Society Organization. The, the constitution has made political politics become not even very attractive, but only uh, a lucrative business in Nigeria today. What we have is wrong. What this means is that any election that holds under this present scenario with this constitution will end up producing the same cycle of leaders again with no ability to turn things around. Listen, this whole election thing will put back Nigeria back into where it is again. Watch my words. The new constitution should also provide that there should be no salary, but sitting allowance for only, for only lawmakers. It should provide a true federal system of government instead of an expensive presidential system of government. I suggest preliminary system of government with uh, calmly legislators. The new constitution should also provide a body of the locals state and federal level to screen all aspirants on the source of their wealth and means of livelihood. Criminal record, which include pending sitting cases, must be looked at. Without this, the election for 2023 is another fraud waiting to put Nigeria back in the same starting position. Affair Babalola, you have spoken the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. I really congratulate you, sir, for speaking the truth, daring to stand up and to say it as it is. The system we have, the whole presidential system, listen, guys, newsflash, fraud. That's why they continue to thrive and they continue to do what they are doing. They are happy. You know, everybody wants to become a president. Look at the numbers of persons who have picked up interest nomination form. In case you are not aware, the People Democratic Party has extended the, the, the nomination form in the party, yet primaries is around the corner. Other people are still going to be declaring the likes of Ekiti State Governor and much more are going to be declaring the next few days. Why is all this happening? The legislators look at um, 
look at the very uh, attorney general of the federation. He wants to eat his cake and have it. Takes the, you know, the, the, the national assembly to court. Yeah, he takes the national assembly to court and they get an injunction without their knowledge that they are even in any battle or any matter going on. You'll be shocked things that are going on. A fraudulent government and a fraudulent system indeed. You'll be shocked what is really going on. Nigeria is in that place again where we are to make another decision. Are we going to be making the decision based on falsehood? Listen, guys, look at this. Please follow me my tray of thought. Let's look at this together. You intend to build a skyscraper, ranging from anything from 20 stories and above, well high up into the sky. Yes? Good. M matter check one, done. Then you come to the surface of the ground. Then you start to lay blocks, block upon block. And your intention is to get nothing less than a 20-story building. What do you think will happen? Remember, we are, in, we, are, we are in a trail of thought together. What do you think will happen? Will you get to the second floor before the house come crashing down back on you? The answer is no. Once upon a time, I've been privileged around Lagos to see where uh, uh, the building of one of the skyscrapers was to be laid, my dear. Day and night, you need to see engineering work going on. Building, okay? Building, going on. Real intense work. Lighting, it's been on. The, 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 in fact, the depth of the, of, the, of the foundation, I was shocked. The place was all barricaded so that nobody stray into that part by mistake. My dear, you will not just fall into it. You will really die, better die. Better die. You understand what's not the talk so? I mean, the foundation was that deep. That deep. It took time. They were working day and night, like I earlier reiterated. The work was going on. Guess what? Guess what? After a few months, then the building started. The building was faster than the foundation. Of course, all things being equal, money ready and everything. The building was much faster than the time they spent in excavating, you know, pouring down the concrete, getting the roads back on the ground. Why do you think there is so much collapse? You have a foundation. According to the architectural design, it's for a 16-story building, but you want to erect a 20-story building. We the call on for Nigeria, long truth. That's what's happening to this country. We've got no foundation, yet we want to build a skyscraper. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless to have a fantastic day from us. It's bye for now. Bye.